Good morning, everybody. This is Martin Wong coming you live for the breakfast show Money Talk with Smart Roby. I hope you have a good weekend. As most weekend, we are have a chance to relax the mind and be ready for another week of more volatile market. What do you think? Thank you for coming and thank you for joining us this morning for the breakfast show Money Talk with Smart Roby. As we process the ongoing news that we can see. Definitely something that has interests me is the market continue to correct as we see in it. So I think some of you may have know that the rubber glove and as well as the healthcare hasn't get that much of uh, leverage that we used to. Typically when news of rubber glove you know coming out, the stock will move, but it hasn't moved yet. Partly is this due to the monitorium which will end 30th of September where many of the retail investors plus you and me are leaving the market, leaving us nothing much by the regular players. So are we back to the good old days before the COVID? What do you think? Let me know and uh, type in there your reply. And again, thank you for sharing this video uh, live FB in your timeline so more people can enjoy what we have for you today. Now let's move on to our news for this morning, shall we? Now our first news is uh, no other than our KLCI which continued to linger after the market tried to make uh, just a little bit of update, just to try to have a green pentagon hovering above 1500. At this junction, it is important it stays above 1500. But let's look at the headline, what we have for you today. Now for today is no other our focus on the physical uh, deficit. That's right, our budget 2021 is due soon. So a lot of focus has been on the economy where we need to vitalize the economy. I think many of you have seen the post-COVID recovery and as well as during the COVID, many people have lost jobs. So right now, the budget 21 has been expected uh, to expand the Malaysian economy going forward with a physical uh, deficit. That means we are actually borrowing more money. If you look back from 2015 on the chart that you have on, on your left side, you know, we really hasn't uh, the, the the government, the previous government, Pakatan, you know, 2000 and, uh, 2018 and 2000, they were trying to fix the physical uh, deficit, which means try to reduce less. That is why we see less infrastructure spending. But this year, with the budget 2021, to revitalize the economy, I would expect a lot of the projects which the previous uh, government before Pakatan will, uh, will be uh, so-called updated will be uh, started up again because you know like it or not if you look back in the last 10 or 15 years malaysia economy has been really driven by infrastructure without the infrastructure it is very difficult to move forward so that's why we have the uh, 3.7 3.4 but the focus on budget 2021 is the expenditure deficit which going to go beyond the four percent to minus 6%. That's right, minus 4% to minus 6%. And that's one of the large, highest in the last 10 years. So that means we are actually taking up more debts. And question is, can we able to pay back? Now, if you look at some of the advanced economy in the world, uh, a lot of juggling has been uh, on the political party as well as the central banks to reduce the debts in here. But going forward with Malaysia, uh, de depending less on the uh, crude oil because crude oil Petronas, as you know, uh, we still have only reserve for another 10 to 20 years, more or less like that. So we are depending on a lot of sectors. When one of the growing sectors are services, but we do know going forward with the services, the next one, two years will be definitely affected by the post-COVID-19, uh, which left what we have is the palm oil, the technology, and a little bit of the industrial under the EMS, which I did cover. So it will be a challenge to the next go uh, governing government coming in and also provide providing jobs for many of you uh, who are graduating, especially your children in there. How, what, what do you think the economy going forward in here? It will be remain a challenge that, uh, that we see uh, that the country should not take up too much debt going forward. All right. Now let's move on to our next story, which is another uh, glove company, vaccine company, which is a new venture for them. Now, 
MSCM has been a loss making all this while. So what they're trying to do is trying to venture into this new area. Again, a lot of these are really untested. A lot of these are strictly on plans, but the stock has really moved up. If you look at uh, the sign of things, let me just show you how the stock looks like SCMM, all right? And you can bring up this chart in here. All right, so far you can see uh, the market has really gone up a lot, almost from, uh, let me see here, oh, from uh, seven, what? somewhere around 40 cent to like two dollars and then went back to 140 120 in here so let's take a look at this one so what's really expiring about this is all this good news finally is coming out and they are raising a private placement bear in mind this company hasn't made money yet and yet they're raising money to fund this glove and waxing distribution so to me it's going to be much more of a trading buy rather than the fundamental uh, and also they're partnering with MMAG which seems that MMAG has all its tentacle all over the place because the the, the next story e uh, uh, green packet also have MMAG. Usually when I see a company like this, take it as a trading, don't take it so much as uh, investing because they haven't really proven themselves in there. What do you think? Would you buy a company uh, for longer term investing if they haven't proven themselves, hasn't really made money in here? Or just treat it like the normal uh, trading where you have a stop loss, you have a profit objective. Let me know what you think. All right. I really appreciate that in there. All right. So next question, we will uh, move on. Uh, the next story that we have. Oh, that's a good question in here for Elwin. Where government where can find money for infrastructure, right? And yes, so usually what they do, they will raise bonds, okay? MS, uh, MGS bonds. There are a lot of purchase for MGS bonds, to be frank with you. Uh, these are your EPF and your insurance and a lot of corporate bonds because insurance normally people buy, they have to get the bond. So the question is, uh, government will continue to just pay in service the interest rate it right and that's how usually they go forward as long as the government are able to uh, make money in the sense when I say making money right we are referring to uh, collecting uh, tax and exporting collecting uh, you know your income tax collecting uh, excise tax it will continue to issue bonds like this but going forward uh, when it comes to uh, in the parliament people always talk about hey you know do we have uh, why do we need to carry so much debt? Because like, you know, Malaysia is a small country and when we have too much debt, that will in uh, effect our sovereign uh, bond, uh, bond ratings, junk uh, bond ratings, which means the cost of funding will definitely be more expensive, making it more difficult to raise international projects. Uh, Mr. Martin, there's a question. If the ringgit goes stronger, what happened to the glove company? Now, like it or not, the when the... Uh, Ringgit gets stronger. The question is how much stronger? Usually what we see like this is within the 4 to 5% and it's not much of an impact because the cost of the average selling price has really, you know, the, the, the quantum of it really magnitude. So the little bit of... Uh, of uh, in interest rate, uh, sorry, sorry, the ringgit appreciation won't much, will not much be affected because usually I believe a lot of this rubber glove maker because of the higher average selling price, they will absorb the cost. Right, so I wouldn't worry so much about it. In the past, it does has because the average selling prices are so thin, so the margin is thin. So whenever the um, ringgit strengthened, it will impact their margin. But right now, they have very good margins in here. You can see even Topless last week and Hatta, uh, they they are quite happy with the kind of margin they are getting. Uh, so they can absorb a lot of these uh, uh, higher uh, ringgit compared to US dollar. Okay. Advice to buy Singapore shares. Um, to be frank with you, Singapore shares are very institutional. I would recommend many of you to look at uh, US shares. Uh, that's one of the things that we want to cover in the Smart Roby. And we are looking to also uh, release the Smart Roby for the US market. So that's one of the things we really want to. Because going forward, I believe ringgit to US dollar, US dollar will strengthen. It's just that this short period of time, at least until the election, 3rd of November, we will see strengthening of the ringgit. But it will come back on the other way around, right? Singapore shares has been always institutional driven. Uh, means you have to buy some of those blue chip shares. If you're looking for uh, great companies, small cap stocks, they're going to be uh, in the Malaysian market in there. Point is very simple. If you're going to focus a lot on your knowledge building and your skill building, focus on these two countries, the Malaysian market and the US market. That way, uh, because usually when we bombard 
by news that we read on newspaper generally they are all us driven for that hope i have answered your question uh may uh may feng okay okay let's move on to the next question thanks thanks i appreciate all this kind of question to make sure that you comprehend uh, a lot of the uh message that we're trying to give out in here let's move on to the next question now again green packet in here uh which have an exclusive uh news with star business in here continue to hog the headline in here but let's look at where we are for green packet okay green packet already has a green pentagon in here uh is it gonna go up to the old high that's always been this this question here let me just bring it up you can see green packet right now it's already hit uh, a green pentagon in here this again is a loss making usually when company make a lot of limelight in the news i tend to be very very careful of them uh, not being too aggressive i will look back at the overall plan you know make sure they make some money first before i want to put my money do i say this makes sense or not all right uh it's no point someone who say i am so good i am so good it's a lot of self praise we know who we are talking about right the president uh of united states donald trump we always give himself an a plus in everything that is that is done including the 200k uh death that we see in us he still give himself an a and he said today uh if he get the vaccine out by 3rd of november which i think he will because he will force it through through the cdc approval list and he will go out and say look i got an a plus because i got the vaccine now the question is going to be whether those vaccine works or not which is another question right so this fella uh president trump will try to fudge himself to give himself an a plus so back again to the story mmag which is also appearing in a lot of the news in uh, continue to hawk the headline and uh, you can see both are uh, actually loss making in here again this in my question is more of a trading and if you look at the chart setup all right in here you can see uh we have a huge sell off last last week maag uh, by the way is one of our pick on the 7th of september has gone up most 200 percent uh with, with that this morning i think good news usually you see sell off uh let me see because this this news here let's take a look at mmag right yep minus 42 percent all right Okay, so uh, that is one, two, six. Am I correct? Uh, why drop so much? Uh? <laughs> one, two, six. Okay, that is one forty. Let's look at the stock price right now in here. Okay, let's let's look uh, at our real time chart in here. Okay, so this switching on to a daily chart. okay oh today is up 22 percent all right up 22 percent in here okay so we have seen the the market like that all right let's move on to our next story shall we now next story talk about the another small cap stocks called guh which is looking for approval in a solar farm so what happened he, they are engaged in a 30 megawatt solar farm for a housing project uh, supporting about 130 houses in in taiwan and they are also loss making and the question has always been if their pcb board went into a new uh, line the, the question always been the core competency can they handle it that or not although uh the story also carried they actually joint venture with another japanese group called uh yabishi solar power and uh, they are looking for approval for the next 24 months so having said that uh, we can look at gub right now and on the chart side guh and you can see right guh stock uh live st uh we will look at the stock chart here okay so you can see gu guh and uh hasn't really uh been sort of staggering between the 32 cents and the yeah the the 32 cents and 40 cents inside here the chart doesn't look nice in my opinion in here so if the chart doesn't look nice even though the story is good and they're loss making this again doesn't warrant uh, any trade at all but it's good to really look at the uh the chart setup as well as on the news and the fundamental before you do any trade especially right now the klci again is in orange trend zone so uh no, sorry or is turning blue trend zone right now so there are some opportunity if it's an orange trend zone then we might not want to look at it but if there is a blue trend zone we want to see the market moving a bit higher before taking some position in there 
All right. Uh, third one is the story that we have is the Sunway Malls. Okay, the Sunway Mall, which is located in the Klang Valley, and they are seeing uh, likely in the fourth quarter 2020, 90% uh, of the sales normalizing in here. So we can look at Sun Ritz. Last week we have a Sun uh, Sun Ritz actually fell, and I don't know is this because on the good news the market you know fell down or is it because more of the uh, profit taking in there so what do you think you know the market has has a nice move you have climatic volume above there then the market turn back generally be like this but this gives you an opportunity to uh to buy on the pullback let's look at the trading plan in here and you can see the trading plan uh, is to buy at 172 163 165 will be the next entry level in here but again uh, check out dialog. You can see in here on the right hand side of the news, it actually asks you to look at dialog because Sunway Ritz hasn't been there. So Robbie is smart enough to let you know which is the next one, which is good. Shall we shall look at dialog? All right. Having said that, all right. Uh, okay. Let's look at the stock chart here. Yep. Dialog looking good, and dialog has a green green. Pentagon, right? Okay, let's take a look at our next story. Now, our next story, we turn our shores to the US uh, market and it's also connected to dialogue what we have shown you in here, okay? So if you look here, let me just bring this story in here. So what if we are saying in here that the, the tech stocks is slowing down? Now, this is from the US barons in here. And one reason why I want to bring the US news because a lot of the US news, the particular one that I will pick up, it will have an impact on our sector. So you can see tech stocks slowing down, which means our techs are slowing down down Inari, uh, Penta, they are slowing down. So what is the next sector rotation? So the next sector rotation we are talking about in here is actually into the industrial, energy, oil and gas and sector. Now you have seen that already. Now plantations, which is taking a cue from the oil and gas and that's why we are seeing dialogue moving flow. So this is one of the reasons why uh, those of you who's been following me for a fair while, I want to really want to teach you that you no, if you follow some of the story linking back to the US, you can see how we are able to rotate out from the, the pharmaceutical, the healthcare, now to something which is moving now, which is the industrial and energy. All right, so take note of that. So these are little small news nuggets that we want you to capture. And I hope that you all find this good. Uh, there's uh, some news inside here about McLean and KPS, good for trading. Those I will leave it for my colleague, uh, Zach, at night, tonight, 9.30, to help you to uh, analyze it for you. Today, we will stick to overall market anal uh, the overall market uh, eco uh, macro economic sorry macroeconomic so you can understand you know the context where we are heading from uh, many of you are just purely focusing on stocks and stocks and stock good but i want you to really benefit from the overall sector no more buying a stock when the overall market is not healthy am i correct not so you want to be buying when the, there is a, a some sort of recovery or sector rotation so that way you're in line with the macroeconomics that's the least i can do here as an educator and really want to fill up the empty gap of information that you don't have in here all right now next we want to move on is also to our so-called uh, news klci news so you can see inside here so you can see klci astro ideal mc now mc mc holding is one of the stocks that we pick so continue to hog the headline echo wax we have seen before let's take a look at echo west okay so echo west and we look at echo west all right and we look at the chart So Echo West continued to break up because of the Bandar Malaysia, but since then has pulled back a fair bit, okay? Uh, okay, I don't want to look at this one here. I want to go back to my stock charts. Look at the stock charts here. You can see right now, okay, it has started to pull back in here. Is it a good time to entry? Well, uh, if you are into the uh, all the news about Bandar Malaysia, then use the trading plan, all right? Use the trading plan for here one and you can see you want to buy at uh, 64 and a half cents or pull back at 56 cents for that one. All right. Okay. Let's move on to our next story. Okay. Now, next story is our next stock pick will be Pohuat. Okay. Which we came out on early uh, this morning here. So we look at Pohuat. We look at the stock chart. All right. And you can see this is a nice up continuing trend which actually came out last week too so the stock that we picked uh, mc from last 
uh, Friday uh, from 10 o'clock onwards, uh, it's gone up almost 11%. P Trans hasn't moved up in yet, so just take note of that one. So that's uh, MCE holding. I think there's some news around it. We will see whether it will float into the news, then we'll pick it up maybe on Wednesday. All right. So that's the stock pick that I have for today. So for today, because the market hasn't seen so much, so I'm just going to pick one only, which is Po Huat. All right. So Po Huat is stock pick. And uh, don't forget, tomorrow, oh sorry, Wednesday will be our next uh, talk for evening, the Sun Tzu Art of War and for investor and trader. Seven strategies for making money in a market correction, especially uh, something that I want to share with you, the book that I have here, and a lot of a lot of the context that will be taken out will impact how we look into the market. And this is the book that we talk about, a very good uh, book on Sun Tzu and how you can use this strategy to make money in this market correction. Because after market correction, what do we normally get? The market will continue an uptrend going forward, all right? And also don't forget, uh, two more weekends from now, it's our masterclass. We still have the uh, registration open. We still have some more seats. Those of you who want to, do let us know. It will be a almost five-day five day course. We have extended in because some of our coaches are very positive and uh, willing to share a lot of their own insights on the market with you guys, okay? Those of you who want to, the proven way to trade in KLSC and US market. And not forgetting least, for those of you who are first time uh, listening in here, do download a copy of Smart Roby and those are the two uh, uh, codes, uh, QL codes that you can do so and you can get uh, a, a lot of good information like what we talk about and check out some of the stock price that we have uh, today in there. All right. So with that, I uh, close with my final slide. Uh, do join our ever-growing free Telegram uh, free stock chart uh, from our Trade VSA trading idea where we'll give you more than you expected so you're able to follow us nicely. Meanwhile, right, this market isn't really super bullish yet. Wait for the rotational play. Definitely, I think last Friday, uh, my colleague Zach has talked about plantations and do find out a lot from our Telegram chat room. So what, what are those ideas too? So if not, I'll see you this coming Wednesday for our breakfast show and the evening for the Sun Tzu Art of War, what to do in market correction. Thank you for coming and thank you for your uh, time spent with me. I hope you have learned something today. Bye-bye.